What up guys, we're back at it with some Fable of Lost Chapters, and this of course is my retrospective playthrough where we just kind of play the game and see how it holds up in the year 2022. Anyway, so in the last video we did a bunch of training, and now we're, we're pretty much ready to just do whatever. We don't really need to do too much grinding anymore, I don't think. We've got our strength maxed out, our speed maxed out, everything's looking pretty good. I think we'll try to find the brother. I think that one's actually a decently easy one if you actually start it... Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's an easy one if you're not, like, challenging yourself, basically. But yeah, I think the only real time that I've struggled with this quest is, like, times that I'm doing, like, a special build or something. Like, I'm limiting myself to, you know, a stick or archery or whatever. I think those are the only times that I've really ever, like, failed this quest. Or really any quest, for that matter. I don't usually, like, fail the quests in Fable. Also, like, technically, you don't have to fight any of this shit on the way back here. Because the goal is to just get the brother and bring him back. Really, all you have to do is get the brother and bring him back. So don't fight anything on the way to the brother. Get the brother and then fight. The only thing about trying to use slow mo in this quest is that it's a follow quest, so you know the dude still has to follow you, right? Like if you're in, if you're in slow mo, the dude's gonna follow you in slow mo, and it's gonna take longer, right? <clears throat> I just saved that dude's life. Took a fucking bullet for him. I literally watched you fucking materialize, bro. This game straight up isn't slick sometimes. Hello. There we go. Oh, you found him. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Here, have this. You might make sense of it. Oh, it's a treasure. Yep. All right, so that quest was pretty fucking easy. Not going to lie. If I remember correctly, Break the Siege is also, like, extremely fucking easy. Halt! Hmm. That's right. This is a quest that, like, straight up doesn't make any sense. So I want you to take a message to their chief. You tell him we'll raise his precious town to the ground if he doesn't hand our boss back. <laughs> got that? Well, run along then. We haven't got all day. The weird thing is that has literally nothing to do with the quest at all. Like, they could delete that whole beginning part of the quest, and the rest of the quest would actually make more sense. I'm not letting that bandit go. He's plundered this village for far too long. We've got him under guard up the hill by the tavern, and that's where he's staying. So that whole beginning sequence was literally just fucking useless, like... All, all that needed to happen was I needed to come here, and dude had to be like, kill all the bandits. And that's that's really all that needed to be said, was kill all the bandits. I think that's literally it too. Yeah. Nice work. You literally don't have to go anywhere near the dude up on the top of the hill. And to me, this has always been such a weird fucking quest because it's just written so fucking weirdly, like in a way that it doesn't need to be written in. Like, what the fuck are you guys doing? It's almost like they knew it was. It's almost like they knew it was gonna be like just a. Oh my fucking god, dude! Shut the fucking fuck up, my god, bro! What the fuck, dude? It's almost like they exactly knew that it was going to be a 45 second long fucking quest. And they're like, all right, we got to do whatever we can to make this thing like a minute and a half long instead of 45 seconds long. So they added like, you know, two fucking 30 second cutscenes. They're like, all right, there we go. Cool. It is now a minute and a half long quest. You know, we gotta go save this little archaeologist bitch. Oh, that's right. I'm just like allowed in here now. I forgot about that. I'm not going to lie. I've always found Bowerstone North to be absolutely fucking underwhelming. It's like, what, you got four fucking houses that you can't buy. Bowerstone Manor, which I guess is kind of cool because you can, like, eventually own Bowerstone Manor to some degree. And there's literally one fucking store. And this is supposed to be, like, the good... This is supposed to be the best part of town. And it fucking sucks, dude. It really fucking sucks. At least you can get the Solus Greatsword here. At least there's, like, a couple good things in that shop. But, like, other than that, Bowerstone North literally fucking sucks dick. Like, what the fuck is this place? Actually, now that I think about it... The perfect mod would be, like, a Bowerstone North expansion mod. What I'd like to see is, like, at least one other house that, like, the player can purchase. Like, just, like, a normal standard, like, marital home that the player can purchase. I'd like to see at least that. And then add, like, another shop. Maybe add, like, a barber and a tattooist just for the fuck of it. Okay, here we go. This is the first time you fight minions, I'm pretty sure, yeah? This should be the one hitter on these guys, too, I think. Mm. Oop, that guy died. 
All right, so now I'm gonna front. Berserk is like totally fucking king for fighting these guys. I keep forgetting like the last time I did most of these quests was like I was doing some fucking stupid ass build probably. So like I never really actually got the opportunity to just fucking fight things the way you're supposed to fight things. I gotta say one thing that they fucked up on is they made it so you can't sprint and collect your fucking experience at the same time, which is a minor annoyance, but it's actually kind of a major annoyance really. I feel like even this is about to be like the shortest fucking quest I've ever done. I don't normally just, like, absolutely murder through fucking quests this fast, but, like, you know. If I understand correctly, you don't have to fight the rock troll either. It's just, like, there to fucking be annoying and get in your way. Also, fighting the rock troll is the easiest way to get all of your fucking buddies to die, just so you know. Also, situations like this are where heal life come in handy, because then you can actually keep your fucking teammates alive. We're well, speaking of teammates and keeping them alive. I don't think they had that in Fable 2 or 3. Like, sure, you might have gotten, like, Hammer in Fable 2. But, like, as far as I knew, you couldn't, like, you couldn't, like, hire a fucking bodyguard in Fable 2 or 3. Even in the case of, like, Hammer, it's like, you didn't even need to keep them the fuck alive. It was like they had infinite fucking health, basically. How about some healing? What makes you think I can heal you guys, honestly? Got it! Didn't kill a single guard. Except for that first one that died, but... <clears throat> whatever. I can't believe we just, like, smashed through all of those quests. Like, literally smashed through them. You've received a new quest card. Dude. But you would think they would have, like, test played this game enough to be like, Alright, the Guildmaster talks a little bit too fucking much. I don't think he needs to give us three messages simultaneously. Anyways, we might have time for this, so I'm thinking we'll just try this, actually. Try our hand at marrying literally the only person worth marrying, in my opinion. It's still kind of weird to me that she makes you buy a house, because it's like, as if she's gonna fucking live in your house. Like, you really care if I have a house when that's where you live, bro? Like, imagine literally owning an entire city and living in a fucking castle. And you're like, whoa, 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 whoa. Are you homeless, though? Because I don't want a homeless person living with me. I want you to have your own house that you're going to have to fucking sell and move out of. Like, fuck you. I think I got to talk to... This quest is a really weird quest because none of it's very obvious at all. Like, you almost have to look up a guide to even know that this quest exists. Let alone to, like, complete it, you know? Because it's just that obscure of a quest. And, like, the steps to complete it are literally just that obscure. I think she asked about a house first. Oh, that's beautiful. I knew you'd have a romantic soul, not like some hero. That's right, I did already have the thing. I think she asked about a house next. There we go. And then the other dude pops up after you ask about the house. Cause that's a confusing thing, is that like the dude that you're supposed to talk to is right here, but you have to complete, like, four other steps before you can actually talk to him. Now, I actually forget who to talk to next, to be completely honest. And who's in this house? Why does this house have a green dot? What about her sister, too, huh? Hmm. Seems that no one is quite sure of our mayor's sister. Did you know she wears her sister's necklace all the time? Hmm. Just rant. So you're just supposed to, like, I guess, get the gossip from around town or something? I don't really know. Okay, at some point, somebody talks about the necklace. I'm honestly a little bit lost. Am I supposed to fight Thunder yet, or no? Have you heard anything about my necklace? I did talk to everybody in town though, right? I think so. It's this guy actually. Here we go. Oh, so the necklace belonged to the ladies. You don't wear it no more. I almost feel like I gotta talk to this bitch again. That's what I'm saying when there's like so many components to this. Like not only the fact that you gotta like get a house and get a fucking necklace. So I've talked to I think everybody I can talk to. I think we're just gonna try to go to fucking Oakvale now. I don't know. Supposedly you should just be able to dig it up from the spot like any time, but I've literally never had that happen before, so I don't believe it yet. Wait. Do I have a spade? I feel like I might not have a shovel, honestly. Which is, like, kind of ridiculous to get this far in the game and not have a shovel, but, like, damn. Oh, that's one other random-ass thing about the first Fable. Is that sleeping in Fable used to be fucking easy. It used to be just talk to the bed, basically, and it fucking sleeps for you. And then, like, for some reason, like, I think Fable 2 also, but, in, like, yeah, Fable 2 and 3, it was, like... It takes, like, fucking a minute and a half to sleep, it feels like. Obviously not, like, that long, but, like, you'd go to sleep... And there'd be this, like, fat fucking animation before you go to sleep. And then you wake up and your dude's gotta, like, sit there and, like, fucking yawn and shit. Like, not only did sleeping just happen faster in this game, but, like, you could also, like, walk away from the bed, like, while you're in the middle of sleeping, technically. Which just made everything, like, a lot more streamlined when you're trying to, like, sleep a bunch of days just to, like, restock a store or whatever, right? Actually, I feel like Fable 2 let you sleep for, like, a week at a time. And then, like, Fable 3, they were like, nah, 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 you can just sleep for a day again. 
I might be making that part up, but I feel like I feel like Fable 2 let you sleep for longer than a day, and that was actually pretty savage. So now we get to fight Thunder, right? I don't believe it. See, this part just still doesn't make sense to me at all because it's like I'm the one who did all this stuff, right? Like, does Thunder do any of this stuff? Like, what did Thunder do? Like, I, I won the arena. I gave her the stupid fucking flower. I found her the stupid fucking necklace. Like, I did all of the things that she required to marry her. And she's like, yeah, but Thunder still exists. Even though he literally didn't do anything for me, like, he still exists. So, like, you gotta kill him, dude. I don't know, just, like, straight up doesn't make any fucking sense, really. It doesn't. Also, in my opinion, this is, like, the only part of the game that, like, really sucks teleport-wise. Like, you get to teleport to Bowerstone South, and then, like, the next Cullis Gate is literally in the fucking Litchfield Graveyard or whatever. Which is honestly pretty fucking ridiculous for, like how far you actually have to travel to get there is it's actually like really fucking far away i'm pretty sure it's even worse than like dark wood to bower or barrow fields maybe i guess technically great wood to barrow fields but let's see how fast this does it though oof dude you're fucked slender you're really fucked if i can't have her you fight like a demon but i'm The only thing annoying though about this fight is like how often he fucking moves. It's like, bro, you you would have been dead by now if the game didn't like stop you from dying every ten fucking seconds. It's a dark day that sees Whispers Kira defeat me. Well, if the lady Whisper shouldn't have been so fucking stupid. How black your heart is. What was I supposed to do? Why didn't she just walk away, huh? If I was able to walk away at the arena, so was she. So why didn't she, huh? Yeah, go walk your fucking dumb ass back home, you fucking idiot. No fucking logic ass having dumb ass motherfucker. 10k experience for that, that's pretty fucking good. I feel like there's gotta be something good in here, right? Why do I feel like he used to be able to like reel in like old boots and shit like that? Am I just making that up? Obviously I remember that from Animal Crossing, but I swear to god I remember like... Maybe it was just in the original Fable or something, but I swear to god I remember you could like fish up like an old boot or some shit like that. Ooh, silver key, that's pretty good. Oh, that's right, we still gotta finish marrying her. It's like, honestly, it's like you start all the way over here and you gotta walk through here and walk through, like, good God, bro. Like, why didn't they just, like, I know they're literally right next to each other, but like, again, so are like Barrow Fields and Oakvale. So like, who fucking cares, right? And that might be the only example of two regions literally right next to each other that both have teleporters. I don't think there are any others, but I think it would have been worth it to have one in here. All right, these loading screens are starting to really worry me. And so the hero married. Yeah, that's it. It's weird, because I didn't really do any hero saving. I mean, I did, like, three hero saves for the, the silver augments, but other than that, I didn't do any hero saves. So, like, a little bit weird, not gonna lie. Anyways, though, I think that's probably about it for this video. So, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to leave a like. It definitely helps me out. And if you haven't already, make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you want to check out any more of this content or any of my other gaming content, for that matter. And, of course, as always, for the little as 99 cents a month, you can become a channel member, help support this channel monetarily, help me pay some bills around here, that sort of thing. Yeah, that being said, it's been Plock the Master Gamer with some Fable of the Lost chapters, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.